Dusty Crophopper had been a world-famous racing champion for three years. He pushed himself hard in race after race, and the fans loved him. Between races, he always returned home to Propwash Junction to spend time with his friends. Each day, Skipper, Dusty's coach, put the champ through his paces in a training run. Collect as many tokens as you can. To earn the Air Racer badge, collect enough tokens during Dusty's training run. One afternoon during training, Dusty's engine stuttered. He fell into a spin. Luckily, Dusty regained control, and Skipper guided him in for an emergency landing. My, my engine! Dotty, Dusty's mechanic, had bad news. His reduction gearbox was failing, and it couldn't be replaced. So Dotty fitted Dusty with a warning light. She told him that if the light came on, he'd have to slow down. You're saying I, I can't race anymore. That night, Dusty took off to test himself. As he started to go faster, his warning light began to flash. Distracted by the light, Dusty accidentally clipped a tower, landed hard, and skidded into the fill-and-fly gas station. The gas pump exploded. <laughs> Tap on the leaks in Mayday's fire hose. To earn the firefighter badge, Mayday, the town's fire engine, tried to put out the blaze, but his fire hose was leaking. Dusty, Mayday, and their friends worked together to topple the water tower and put out the flames. Pull! The next day, safety officials shut down the airport. It couldn't reopen until Mayday hired a second firefighter. Mayday told Dusty about aerial firefighters. Instead of dusting crops like Dusty used to, they dropped water. That gave Dusty an idea. 
Yeah, I got to witness one of the very first aerial firefighters. The next day, Dusty flew to Piston Peak National Park, home to the Grand Fusel Lodge. Dusty went to meet Mayday's friend, Blade Ranger, a fire and rescue helicopter. He was going to train Dusty to be Prop Wash Junction's second firefighter. Soon after Dusty arrived at the base, an emergency horn blared. There was a wildfire to fight. Smoke jumpers rolled up a ramp into Cabby, their transport plane. Maru, a mechanic, pumped fire retardant into Dipper, a super scooper. Windlifter, a mighty heavy lift copter, thundered into the air. Blade was already on the scene when the team arrived. He, Windlifter, and Dipper dived and released fire retardant. Then the smoke jumpers parachuted out of Cabby to dig a fire line, which would keep the blaze from spreading. Clear a path through the forest. Back at the base, after the fire was out, Blade had Dusty fitted with a pair of pontoons. Then Dusty's training started. He learned how to scoop water to fill his tank. Drop as directed. Copy that. Next, Dusty had to fly under a bridge and then pull straight up in front of a waterfall but his warning light made him back off. Blade warned Dusty that he wouldn't be certified if he didn't complete the course. The bridge! It's too close to the falls! Later, Blade set up some flaming barrels on the runway. Dusty flew over them, trying to douse them with retardant, while Blade coached him over the radio. Ah! Put out as many flaming barrels as you can. <laughs> to earn the flaming barrels. 
put out as many flaming barrels as you can. After days of training, Dusty heard from his friends in Propwash Junction. They had found a gearbox for him and would have it in a couple of days. This is the best news. This is just what I needed to hear right now. The next fire was a big one. As the crew worked to contain it, the wind shifted and flames surrounded the smoke jumpers. Dusty made a perfect drop, and the smoke jumpers were able to escape. I see him. We're clear. Later, Dipper, Windlifter, and Maru headed to the Fusel Lodge for the grand reopening party. Cad Spinner, the park superintendent, wanted superstar Dusty there to impress his boss. Outside, Dusty met a sweet old RV couple named Winnie and Harvey. Whoa! Look at this place! <laughs> the next morning, Chug called with bad news. They hadn't found the gearbox Dusty needed after all. Just then, Maru burst into Dusty's hangar. There were two new fires heading toward the Fusel Lodge. I gotta go. Thanks. Champ, let's load and go. Soon, Dusty and the firefighters were airborne. Blade told Dusty to drop half of his load of retardant on the fire. But Dusty, distracted by his bad news, released it all. When Dusty tried to reload at the lake, the strong currents pulled him toward a waterfall. Hey, hey! You need to listen to me! Let's just get this fire out! Help Dusty avoid the rocks in the river. To earn the rapid At the last minute, Blade swooped in and snagged Dusty with his hoist. 
It took all of the rescue copter's strength to swing Dusty to safety on the ground. As the fire closed in, they headed for the safety of an abandoned mine. Blade! <coughs> Blade! Blade was angry that Dusty wouldn't follow orders. Dusty explained about his broken gearbox. He wanted to give up firefighting. But Blade reminded Dusty of all the lives he could save, and the two hurried into the mine. So what are you going to do? Meanwhile, the fire was approaching the Fusel Lodge. While guests raced for the exits, Cad rerouted the main water line to the roof sprinklers. He was taking what the firefighters needed. Suddenly, burning trees fell, blocking the main road. The guests were trapped. While the fire raged outside the mine, Blade shielded Dusty from the heat. The fire finally burned past, but Blade was too hurt to fly. Dusty called for Windlifter to carry Blade home, hoping that Maru could repair him. Blade is down! Find Blade in the maze. Find Blade. Back at the base, Maru tried to fill Dusty, Windlifter, and Dipper with fire retardant, but the hoses were dry. Windlifter told them that what they had in their tanks was all they had left. They would have to make it count. And we'll need every plane we've got. The firefighters flew straight to the blocked exit. Windlifter and Dipper swooped in and made perfect drops. Then Dusty lined up and released his fire retardant, completely smothering the flames. Help Dusty find his way through the canyon.
To earn the Air Attack Badge, guide Dusty to the end of the canyon without hitting any obstacles. But there was no time for Dusty to celebrate. Harvey and Winnie were trapped on a burning bridge. He made a vertical climb up the falls, scooping water all the way. His warning light flashed, but Dusty kept going. Harvey and Winnie began to slip off the collapsing bridge, but Blade, repaired and back in action, threw a line to hold them in place. Dusty doused the flames, and the RVs rushed to safety. But then, ka-chunk! Dusty's gearbox gave out. His propeller stopped turning, and not even Blade could keep him from falling. Dusty Crophopper crashed into the forest. Days later, Dusty woke up in Maru's hangar. His air attack friends were overjoyed to see their new team member awake again. Maru had a special surprise for Dusty. He had built him a custom gearbox. Now Dusty was better than new. A new gearbox? I'd say you've earned that certification. Back in Propwash Junction, Mayday was also better than new, thanks to Dottie. And with Dusty there, the airport had reopened. Then Dusty and the Piston Peak Air Attack Team took to the sky for the best air show anyone had ever seen. To do what you did. It takes a special kind of plane. Thanks, Mayday. Who shielded Dusty from the burning forest? Blade Ranger, who got trapped on a burning bridge. <laughs> 